less than a half mile away from the University of Tampa campus. He was celebrating his birthday, so he turned 19 um, on, uh, on Saturday. Sophomore Carson Senfield tragically lost his life on his birthday. His cousin Andrew says Senfield loved his family and friends. Great kid, somebody that everybody wanted to be around. You know, he was the sweetest guy, always cared about other people. Um, we've been actually sharing a lot of stories this morning about him. Tampa police say Senfield was out on South Howard with friends when he got into an Uber that brought him home on West Arch Street. He got out, then tried to get into another car on Saturday after 1 a.m. Investigators say the driver inside that car alleges he was in fear of his life and shot and killed Senfield. Now it's up to the state attorney's office to decide if the shooter was justified. Factors to take into consideration exactly what was this young man doing? Was he getting into the car and it looked like he was going to attack this individual? Or was he just trying to get into the car? Because if he never gets into the car and he never crosses the threshold, then I don't know how the individual that shot the deceased could say he was acting in self-defense. Criminal defense attorney Roger Futerman says Florida has a strong stand your ground law, meaning you do not have to retreat. It's kind of odd that someone sitting at the car in their own car at 120 in the middle of the night having a, I guess, a gun ready to go. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app. Good morning. Today is Thursday. It is October 20th. The year is 2022. And look who's here again this morning. Good morning. How you doing? You ate your breakfast? I gave you a big old bowl of dog food and delicious breakfast. You over there eating your breakfast? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm, no? Yeah, give me a kiss. All right. So, once again, it's a beautiful Thursday morning. And, gosh, I mean, I was, saw, saw this news report where this guy, this little 19-year-old kid, was killed in Tampa, Florida. He got into the wrong Uber. He thought he was getting into an Uber car, opened up the door, got in the car, went to open up a door, got in the vehicle, and the guy who was in the vehicle, for some reason, grabbed the gun and shot the guy and killed him, um, saying he feared for his life and his life was in danger. Y'all, I know I can't be the only person who has went to go get in an Uber, and I don't really ride Ubers too frequently, but I've made the mistake. Uh, one time in Miami, a car pulled up and I thought it was my Uber and I opened the door and got and proceeded to get in the car and it wasn't my Uber. Now I know that, you know, you'd have the app and it shows you the the tag number, it's a picture of the person and all this stuff. Now I'm more careful about that type of stuff. But who would have assumed that somebody would be shot and killed for um, accidentally getting in the wrong car, about to get in the wrong car? And more than likely, the person who did the shooting was probably going to get away with this because under Florida law, of course, the stand your ground state, yeah, you can protect yourself by any means necessary. And unfortunately, this young man made a mistake in, in, and got into the wrong vehicle. Something that happened happens frequently. I remember over 20 years ago, I was having a party at this apartment complex. I lived out, out in near Perimeter Mall over 20 years or 25 years ago. And I lived near Perimeter Mall in this really popular apartment complex. Here you go. Huh? And the apartment complex had these buildings that all looked the same. They all looked the same, the same building, the same um you just have to be very careful to look at for the numbers on the building because the way that they built this place was the, each building was a mirror image of each of the each building was the same. Anyway, a guy came in, knocked at the door, uh, opened up. What came in? The door was open because we were having a party. Came in, sat on the couch, and with some other friends. I, I assume they were with him. My, I thought that he was with my friends, and they thought I knew the guy. And the guy just sitting there and laughing, talking, everything, and then finally he was like. Well, where's Shanice or something? I said, there's no Shanice here. He's like, is this apartment so-and-so, so-and-so? 
And we were like, no, 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 no. I said, no, yes, this is building so and so. He said, man, I'm in the wrong apartment. It's been about 10, 15 minutes before he realized he was at the wrong place. You know, we all just kind of laughed about it, but that could have ended tragically if he had walked into the wrong apartment, like what happened in Texas. Remember that police officer walked to the wrong apartment and she grabbed her gun and shot and killed this man in, and she's now in prison for this mess. I just find it kind of odd how someone can grab a gun and so quickly make the decision that my life is in danger. Someone's trying to open up my door and get in my car or got into my car. I'm going to shoot and kill them immediately. And this is what I'm dealing with. Again. So I was gonna put you outside, but I was gonna let, I, I, I decided I was gonna let you stay inside because it's a little chilly outside. But I should have put his ass on that porch because I see he just will not allow me to do any type of. You just won't allow it, huh? You just won't allow it. I'm not gonna allow it. I'm not gonna allow it. Uh, what's going on? Shit, who the fuck you talking to? I'm trying to figure this shit out. Who? To talking to them. Don't you see them people? I don't see no damn people. I just see your black ass. You just see me? You don't see all them people out there in YouTube land? They see you? They see you. They know your ass need a damn looking like, like you said, looking like Alfred. Need a damn haircut. Lord have mercy. I keep asking Mr. Earl, when are we going to get this dog kiss cut? Because I'm ready to run him up there to the pet set so he can go ahead and. That's my bacon in the oven cooking. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video. I thought that was kind of odd and strange and tragic that you that this man was shot and killed and getting into the wrong vehicle. I mean, and it's, I, I'm very curious to see how the police handle this going forward. Um, clearly, that, that young man meant no harm. He had no weapon on him. He just accidentally got to the wrong car thinking he was probably had been drinking or something. He was 19 years of age. I don't know. What Florida law is on drinking alcohol at 19, uh, clearly, they, he might have had a drink or two, I don't know. But regardless, he got into the wrong vehicle. Something that probably happens every day in America. People shouldn't be shot and killed because they just happened to get into the wrong vehicle, whether they're, um, you know, it's, I, I've, I, I could tell you plenty of stories where people have actually gotten into my car um, years ago, though, and they said, "Oh, wrong car." No, there was no need to shoot or need to get angry or touch somebody. You just walked into the wrong vehicle and got into it. Especially when I used to have that black X5, which was a very common vehicle. Oh, that mercy. You need to go and enjoy. It. You, you need a bath. You looking rough over here. That's why you harassing me because you say you need a bath. Now go on out there. I just find it really weird. Now, I'm willing to bet y'all 10 million bucks. The person who did that shooting was a white guy. Get out! Get down. And he gonna get, he's gonna get away with killing that man. How much y'all wanna bet? But if that had been me or anyone that looked like me who had pulled this, grabbed a gun and shot somebody just to get in their car, I don't think they'd be sitting at home watching TV right now. I'm talking about some staying your ground. Y'all know that staying your ground law do not apply to niggas. No, in nigga bill, you will not be allowed to use that staying your ground law to shoot somebody because they accidentally got in the wrong damn car. You will be going to prison. I, I don't know. If you all can find me any incidents where black people have been allowed to use the stand your ground law, please bring it to me because every time I see some type of tragic story um, where someone is used, every time somebody black has tried to use that as a justification for them shooting somebody, every time, every time, they used to try to use that as a justification for them shooting someone, um, they end up in prison. Now, I could be wrong, so if y'all know of any incidents or scenarios where this has happened, please let me know. Um, I'm just curious to know. Hey! 
Didn't we say we're not going to do that today or during the middle of this video? We had a long talk about this. We discussed this. We discussed this. We Come here. We discussed this, right? Did we talk about this? You remember us talking about this before this video got started? No? Yeah, go get on your bed, but don't you. Oh, here we go. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know. But y'all can find me any in, 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 any situations where black people have got away with shooting somebody and say, I was standing my ground. Come here, Grayson, bring me that toy. If y'all know of any incidents where this has happened and they got away with please post it. I don't know of any. Every time I've seen somebody try to use that as a defense for them shooting somebody, they end up going straight to jail and into prison for shooting somebody, aggravated assault or murder. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Eh, I could be wrong. So I'd be curious to know you all's thoughts. And anyway, but anyway, I, there's a video I, at the end, the conclusion of this. Um, I'm gonna post it, but it shows me over the years. It popped up on my phone. I thought this was a little interesting. This is gonna be a short little video, but I am curious to know you all's thoughts. And what you think about this young 19 year old kid who lost his life by accidentally getting into the wrong vehicle. And should the driver of this vehicle who did this outrageous shooting be charged with a crime or not? I think he should be myself personally. If that man was not threatening his life in any way, did not have a weapon on him, was not physically attacking this driver, I can think of no reason why someone would grab a gun and quickly shoot somebody that fast. I just don't, I, I don't see how that was appropriate at all. But, um, I don't know. Well, anyway, let me show the video and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this other little small video after this. Um, Something that popped up on my phone I thought was really just about five minutes long. Just photographs. But anyway, let me go finish cooking my breakfast. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. 11.19 be exact. And I'm still over here cooking breakfast. Make sure the bacon ain't burning. I just turned the oven on, so I'm sure it's not. But anyway, uh, today is Thursday. It is October 20th. The year is 2022. I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll speak to you all later.